Welcome back to Good Morning La La. It's all about hashtag Friday feels, and we're debating about divorce, love, breaking up, staying together, and all that good stuff. So we brought the best expert in Los Angeles, Laura Wasser, founder of It's Over Easy. She is a celebrity divorce attorney. Wow, I can't even imagine. Me neither. Actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hollywood Reporter multiple times named you one of the top 100 most powerful attorneys in Los Angeles. I mean, that, that is a huge... I think that might just be because I know a lot of secrets. I want to uh, stay on my good side. But I have <laughs> kind of transitioned a little bit out of that and into a more of a do-it-yourself mode for divorce for people that can't afford $850 an hour that we are charging at my firm and able to, we figured people are dating online, they're shopping online, they're banking online. Maybe they want to get divorced online too. And if you give them the tools and the information that they need, often couples will say, how about we do this? We save ourselves some money. We save ourselves some aggravation. We become the masters of our own destiny. And as you said, go forward parenting into the future as a next chapter as, as partners just not people who are getting into bed together every night. You know what I find so interesting, though, is that you've created this opportunity for people, but that removes the need for a divorce attorney. There will always be a need for a divorce attorneys. There will always be high conflict um, litigation, I believe. I just don't know that everybody needs it. In fact, I think most people don't. And what we've tried to do at It's Over Easy is really change the face of divorce. Divorce has been around for years, and it's still so taboo. I'm not sure human beings were meant to mate for life. Those that were, that find each other and they're till death to us part, God bless them, that's fantastic. <laughs> but for those of us who weren't, how do we go into the next chapter, remaining partners, remaining co-parents, remaining friends, and also finding a space for ourselves that makes us still able to be happy, good parents, good workers in society. How do we do that? And so that's why it's a reason we have a ton of content for people to look at and learn and educate themselves. And we've got the index, which is our provider directory, which will give you anything from somebody to help with co-parenting, somebody to help with your finances, somebody to help you find health insurance if it's not available through your spouse any longer, somebody to help you find a good spray tan person or dating <laughs> app or teeth whitening when you get back out there. I think that's wow. so crucial because really navigating life then as a single after you've been separated is a whole new world. Yes. Where do you even go to feel like your best self and do your taxes or get your own health insurance? It's so scary and I'm so grateful that you've really provided a whole index of approved providers. Yes. But, but, but like one second, because I remember when I went through divorce, it was really hard. Not only was it I like years of debating to even do that because it was I mean, it's traumatizing. No, it's I'll never forget a mentor of mine gave me the best advice ever just answering that question. Jez, is he said, if you want to have your partner be able to always communicate with you, you have to hold a space that they feel safe, they can share anything with you. Because if they don't feel safe or they feel like you'll react, whatever, then they just will stop coming to you to tell you whatever's going on. So it's such an interesting thing. Like, can you be okay with them telling you something that you don't necessarily want to hear and not make them wrong? You know, such a dance, such, totally. a, such a daily spiritual practice. I'll have to work on that <laughs> one. <laughs> That's, that, that'll be like me going to the gym. That's gonna take some practice and exercise. Sure. But you do feel better afterwards. You do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love your dresses. It's, Thank you. I mean, serious, so it tell is us, so gorgeous. Tell us a little bit more about your podcast. The podcast is something that my friend Johnny and I came up with. Love Johnny. Johnny works with It's Over Easy and he's our head of content. And he said, wouldn't it be great if we did kind of a rotation of whether it's professionals that you could interview and you could talk about what they do to help you through the process or during next chapters. Some of your celebrity friends and clients who don't mind, they don't want to talk about their case specifically, but who don't mind talking about their view of divorce, child rearing, next steps, etc. And then some normal people like for Father's Day, we did my dad. Now, again, he is a professional. He's a renowned divorce attorney, but we did for the Father's Day, June edition, the daddy yes. issue, and we spoke to him mm -hmm. about how divorce has changed since he started practicing in the 60s. And again, what was really scary to me is it hasn't changed that much. Mm -hmm. There's now a social media element to it, but besides that, really, really old school kind of practices and thoughts about it and really, really antiquated, in my opinion. I just think we can do better than that.
So we started the podcast. It's been going really well. I think we're going to up the amount of episodes we have. And it really just is another way of kind of debunking the myth, debunking the taboo, having people listen and understand. And look, again, not saying you should get divorced, saying you should be armed with the knowledge if that is something that you're going through or your best friend is going through, your daughter's going through, your mother's going through. Know about it. Let's discuss it so it's not such a huge surprise so that in 2018, I don't have someone come in and go, well, I'm the mom, so I get the house, right? And I'm like, no, why would that happen? That's not just because you're the mom or I'm the mom and I get the kids. Every case is different. Every situation is different. You are really able to tailor it to what works best for you. Custody, for example, you know your kids like to be at mom's house on Wednesday night because Wednesday night is the cooking class or whatever else. Make that happen. A judge isn't going to know that, and they don't have enough time to read through every single thing. You know your finances. You know your children. You know your assets better than anyone else. Take that knowledge. Apply it to the law in your state. We will help you. Do it on your own if you can. If you hit a wall, we get it. But try this first because it really makes sense, and you can save that money, keep it within your family, rather than giving it to other people. Mm, so I just, I absolutely love that. Um, one of my beliefs has always been that the greatest teachers, um, that it's not that they make themselves obsolete, um, but they do everything they can to encourage autonomy and independence in their clients or customers or patients or friends or whoever. So I love that you're doing that with it. It's over easy. Really so brilliant. True. Yeah. Thank you. It is funny that we talk a lot, you know, every Friday we dedicate to dating, love, and relationship. It's a really intriguing conversation because I do think it's a very mystical area of life. You know, we want to logically think through love and it, it's just not logical a lot of the time. But, um, and I do believe that a lot of people, you know, and we're, we're very programmed to think, we're supposed to get married. And we often talk about it and we all, you know, I, we respect every viewpoint and everything. But it is kind of bizarre that people want to get married when they haven't even met the person that they want to marry or they marry and they don't even know what that really entails. So it's so important. Education is the most yeah. important thing. But I do. I think we are raised, particularly women, but men too, with this whole Cinderella thing. You're supposed to grow up. You're supposed to be beautiful. You're supposed to meet Prince Charming. You're supposed to get married. You have this beautiful day where you wear this white princess dress. It's all about you. The showers, the bachelorette parties, everything leading on to, up to it. And it's, it is. It's It's wonderful. I, I did it. I love it. I think everybody should once. You, you're, I'm yeah, on. Yes. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> However, definitely know what you're getting into. Because in this day and age, you have to. I deleted that file permanently from my brain. <laughs> I love love. I love love. But I do think that sometimes, um, often people prioritize marriage over love. And yeah. I think that's the problem. Mm. That's my two cents. So where do you think it's going? We know marriage on the is on the decline. Uh, divorce is on the incline. I think divorce We're is a little bit raised, but I think, um, I don't know where it's going. I think people will always get married. And I think what we are seeing as it's over easy rolls out into other states. We're only in New York and California right now, but by the end of this year, beginning of next, we'll be in about eight other states. As we're looking at other states, there are plenty of very young, in their 20s, brides. Again, these are maybe more religious states. These are states where kids aren't maybe going into the metropolitan area type of colleges. Many, many young brides. What I would like these young people, brides and grooms, to know is, here's something to read about what happens when you get married. Here's what to expect when you have babies and when they wake up in the middle of the night. You see so many people saying, like, isn't it great, babies? It is great. But that first year, so as these hard. guys will attest to, is Ooh. very hard. And then all of a sudden, somebody gives you twins? Oh, my God. You guys have <laughs> yeah. 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 that you're having another one. But, so, but any of the, us that have been through it as parents, we know that. Somehow that is not getting necessarily show that on told. Instagram. No, it's not being told to our younger audiences. And so I think it's important. And again, we're seeing a lot of mommy blogs now. We're seeing books like What to Expect When You're Expecting updated in terms of here's really what to expect when you're expecting. I think, again, the communication and the education will help people stay together and will also help them, if they go the path of divorce, to do it in a better, more amicable and cost-effective way. Well, thank you for being a pioneer yeah. in that, Laura. Thank Tell you. everyone where they can find it. It's Over Easy. It's Over Easy. It's, it's overeasy.com. We are on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and on the Good Morning La La Land, yeah. of course. And uh, yeah, please check us out and the Divorce Sex Podcast with Laura Wasser on iTunes as well. I and love it. in this recent issue of Focus Magazine. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Good Morning La La Land. Thanks so much.